All right, brothers and sisters, welcome back to the channel. Um, this particular video I felt is needed because um, when you start to search and you start to seek for God, you're going to start noticing a lot of different things in uh, society that's going to try to either pull you away or deceive you in a way of, you know, people trying to be, you know, superior. One thing about, especially here in America, and I don't know, I think it's all over the world, but one thing I can say about this country in America, people feel like the more superior you are in whatever it is, they think that that is what's given them the satisfaction of glory. And what it is, is just the pride of life. That's what it is, which is one of the three sins, you know, the lust of the eye, lust of the flesh, pride of life. That's what God doesn't like. But a lot of people don't seem to understand that. So today I'm going to talk to you about dreams or nightmares versus, you know, real life experiences. People don't understand that the dreams that they're having could feel real. But I guarantee you this, they have not been to heaven and they have not been to hell. I do not believe that. And the reason why I don't believe that because I follow the word of God. People that um, do believe that they've been deceived. You got to understand, dreams do feel real. But why do I need to talk about it? Let's get to some scripture. But the first thing I got to tell you is we're going to go to 2 Thessalonians. And we're going to go to chapter 2. And I want you to follow me. Uh, we're going to start with verse 10. And let me pull it. Yeah, we're going to start with verse 10. I'm going to read it to 13. And it reads, And in every sort of evil that deceives those who are perishing, they perish because they refuse to love the truth, and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will be uh, believe the lie. And so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth, but have delighted in wickedness. Now, if you don't understand, I can't rightly divide what that means. This is in the Thessalonians. Paul is talking here, uh, speaking to the Thessalonians. And you can use this scripture or scriptures to understand what he was explaining to Thessalonians is exactly what God is explaining to us each and every day. There are lots of people out here that will deceive you. And if you're not in the word of God, you will be deceived. And that's why he says that the delusion, a powerful delusion for those who don't love the truth. And people that want to be superior or want people to look up to them, not because of the glory of God, but because of something internal, which is pride of human, you have to understand that we can't believe everything we hear. If it doesn't come, listen, if it contradicts the word, you can't believe it, okay? And people say, well, listen, those experiences sound real. How could it not you know, be true? I mean, they, they, he described hell, and then they described heaven. Well, let's talk about heaven first, and I'm gonna talk about hell. Let's go, let's go to John. We're gonna go to the book of John, and we're gonna go to John 1, verse 18. Now, this is coming from the Bible here, okay? So, you know, this isn't me talking. This is the Word of God. So, let's get right into it. And it says, No one has ever seen God, but God, the only, one and only, who is at the Father's side, has made Him known. If you don't know who's at the Father's side, that's Jesus Christ, okay? And it says, No one. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, these people talk about, they go, well, you know what? Let's go to another one. This is coming out of Jesus Christ's own mouth. Okay, let's go to John 3 and 13. Let's go. Pull, we're going to pull the scripture right now. It says, and it reads, No one has ever gone into heaven except the man or the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. I got ahead of myself. So let's read it correctly now. Okay, 13, 3 and 13. No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who who came from heaven, the Son of Man. This is the Word. This is the Bible. This is not an opinion. This is the Bible. So when people talk about, well, um, okay, so I went to heaven and then I came back. So you're telling me that you went to heaven? And the Word of God says that no one's ever seen God? You saw Jesus? You saw God? No one's ever seen God? But you did? Then, of course, the hell experiences, right? People say, okay, what about the hell experience? If you are an avid Bible reader, which I always encourage people to do, you got to be a daily Bible reader. You can't be a Sunday Christian. You got to be an everyday walk with Jesus Christ. You are not a Christian. 
You are a follower of Christ. And what I mean by that is you are not just to label yourself as a Christian because what do Christians do? They do what they want to do and then go to church on Sunday. A follower of Christ is in the word of God daily. They're in this daily. They make time for God. There is no, well, you know, I'll get to it when I can. No, you make time for God. It don't matter how many jobs you got, how many kids you got, what's going on in your life. You're going to make time for the word of God. And the more you do this, the more you'll be able to identify when you don't hear truth. Now, the last uh, scripture I want you guys to look into is actually a chapter. It's Luke chapter 16, and I want you to read 19 to the end of the book. 19 to, I mean, I'm sorry, 19 to the end of the chapter. The reason why I said that, because people that say they experience hell, what they don't understand is that if you went to hell, you ain't coming back. Because what did Jesus Christ say in that parable that he used? The rich man went to hell, right? Did he come out? No. He told Father Abraham, who he saw, Father Abraham and Lazarus, he wanted Lazarus to go back, okay, from the dead, which he which he wouldn't, because obviously Lazarus is in the comfort of Abraham in heaven, so he, that's it. He ain't go, he's not coming back. But he said, please, can you send Lazarus to warn my brothers? Never happened. Why? Because you're done. You're When you're in hell, that's it. You got to understand, ladies and gentlemen, if this were true, then people would do that. Think about all the people in the Bible that saw the glory of God. They were there. It was no, they were there and came back. When, when, and if you go into Acts, if you go to Acts chapter 7, when Stephen was being stoned, he did see the glory of God. He saw uh, God and at the right hand, he saw Jesus Christ. But guess what? He's gone. It was no... He got stoned, he saw the glory of God, and then he, he came back to tell us about it. No, he's gone. He's with. He's in the hands of the Lord right now as we speak. Then on top of that, you got to understand, dreams are real. They are real. We have dreams and nightmares where you feel like you were there. I've had nightmares where I felt like I was there. You know what I'm saying? As far as, uh, you know, not, not necessarily having hell. I'm just saying nightmares of different things, whether I was fighting or being attacked and all that. I felt in my heart when I woke up, wow. And I realize it's a dream. And this is what these people are experiencing. They're not experiencing real life going to hell and heaven. They wouldn't be back here to tell us about it. God would not contradict himself against his own word. He wouldn't divide himself against his own word. The same thing with people that's given all these new revelations about what God spoke to me about certain things, but it contradicts the word of God. God wouldn't do that. We don't need anything else. We have the holy book. The New Testament is complete and full. We don't need miracles no more. We don't need people. Um, I'm talking about from humans. We don't need people getting, being raised from the dead. All I mean, if you go to Acts 19, you'll see the church trans uh, transitioned after that. You know, that's over with. The New Testament is complete. That's why you got to be in the Word daily to understand it. So I hope that cleared up that. Uh, check out those scriptures. I encourage you to read Luke 19. Uh, I believe it's 19 to 31. And then you'll see for yourself, did that rich man come back from hell? Did Lazarus come back from heaven to warn the brothers? Did that happen? No. And that was out of Jesus Christ's own mouth. Never go against the word of God. Okay? And that's why I encourage you to read it daily. So may the, and believe in what you read. Have the faith. Keep the faith. Like I talked about in my last video. So may God have a blessing to the readers the listeners and the doers of his holy divine word. You guys stay blessed and I hope this helps somebody. Catch you on the next one.